Hey guys, Prithvi Raj, I hope you guys are doing great. We have the Dyson Purecool Me, huge thanks to Dyson for sending this over. And in this video, we're going to talk about Polar. So if you don't know what exactly Polar is, when we posted the pictures of this one on our social, basically on our Facebook and Instagram, we actually spoke about Polar. Now, if you haven't read that already, or you haven't read that already, it's fine. Which is why we are making this video. We're going to talk about Polar. Uh, in this video so let's not waste any time and get right into it and you're watching the adventures of esper let's begin okay so before we jump into polar and the whole technology behind of it basically why does these rpfi go through that polar and whatnot what we're going to talk about is the pure cool me itself now the pure cool me is meant for more of a personal use case scenario so hence the reason why you see the me named right after the pure cool now if you want something that covers a lot more ground basically a medium to large room you can always go for the pure cool but if you say you really want to have purifier for your own personal use case and you want something that's small that looks nice and also fits in a really nice place now Pureco Me is the one you should go for. Now that said, the Pureco Me that we have here is in this copper colorway. And before we get into the whole polar testing, I want to show you something interesting. Now usually in a conventional air purifier, you'll notice that the fans or whatever that is is actually located on the top head. But that's not the case with this one because as you can see right here, what you do have here is the slider that allows you to control the air whichever direction that you want and once you pop this up you realize that this is just a head and it doesn't have any fans or the propellers in order to you know how a fan work so the main magic happens in the body so in this body right here what you do see is the remote obviously here that sticks magnetically very smart and what you do see is the motor inside here that actually has the fan part and covering that is the filter now this particular filter actually lies around the fan itself so which means it actually sucks the air in this filter and actually releases the cleaner air on the top here now obviously air purifier is meant to purify the air and that's definitely the job for the pure cool me here but interestingly what makes this particular air purifier effective is the test that it goes through polar now before we get into polar we need to talk about the global standard test that any air purifier goes through now that's called the cadr now cadr is called the clean air delivery rate now this is a label that you will see on pretty much any box on the corner on the side that will say that it can actually cover this much of square feet and so on now this is an industry standard and every single air purifier manufacturers actually send this or send their product to this particular testing in order to make sure that their air purifiers are effective. Now, how exactly does CADR work? Now, CADR is based on this one test called ANSI. Now, I'm going to leave the uh, nitty gritty part of ANSI in the link down in the description below because it does get a little more in depth. So that aside, what basically happens is that these tests happens in a chamber and this chamber will have one sensor at one corner and the air purifier in the room itself. So when the particle gets emitted into the room, then the sensor will capture it and the sensor will also read that when the particles are captured away by the air purifier. So basically it actually sees how effective the air purifier is in cleaning the room and capturing the particle. Now the CADR room is actually measured at um, 28.5 meter cube so that's relatively a small room and you have a sensor at one corner of the room now the problem with this particular test is that it captures three particles now we have smoke dust and pollen now it's all right because these are like commonly uh, exposed particles in our day-to-day -day life but the real problem is that we don't get exposed just to that three particles Take in case right now, we are going through a pandemic and this particular pandemic revolves around airborne diseases, which means there are micro particles that's at the PM 2.5 level, which is why we are specifically told to use the PM 2.5 face mask. Now that's the case. So 
With that said, what Dyson decided to do is actually make or take the same CADR test, but make it better. But before we get into that, let's just talk about some other stuff. Now, inside the room itself, as you see in this picture, you'll notice that the sensor is at one corner of the room and the air purifier is smack right in the middle. Now, say in that very room when there's particle covered all over the room and when the air purifier cleans only one area of it and the sensor goes green, how would you know if the other areas are safe as well, that the other corner of the room are safe as well? That's the thing, because this test is kind of flawed, but and also at the very same time, this particular effectiveness of this test, what they will do is they'll actually do the math and actually say how much area it can cover. That is actually kind of flawed. Now let's jump into Polar. Now Polar gets very interesting. Now Dyson called their test Polar and the name is definitely cool and the technology behind it is pretty impressive as well. Now. Obviously, these air purifiers are going to stay at home or pretty much at offices to clean our air. Now that said, what they decided to do is they created or constructed a room that's much more bigger than the CADR room. Now the CADR room, as I mentioned earlier, is at 28.5 meter cube. Now, in comparison to Polar, the Polar room is at 81 meter cube. And the Polar room does not have one sensor at one corner like the CADR, but instead it has nine sensors placed all across the room and it also captures five particles and 11 gases so that's two more particles more than the normal or generic CADR based air purifier and it also captures 11 gases now once these air purifiers that's made by Dyson are placed into the polar chamber what they would do is that they would sit in the corner or whichever position that they're going to place it in and they will run the test. The room will be filled with these kind of pollutants and what happens is that later on these pollutants gets sucked into the air purifier and cleans the air one step at a time. So each and every sensor will read which part of the room is now clean and which part of the room still has the smoke and the test goes one at a time until the whole room is free of these particles and pollutants. So that's the whole idea behind the whole polar test. Now, interestingly, the polar test can also capture ultra fine particles and the air purifiers can capture up to PM 0.1. That's like super fine particles that we can't even see with our naked eye. So it has the capacity to capture that much, making it one of the interesting filters that you can see in an air purifier. Also, this is a good reason why you shouldn't cheap out on air purifiers and this is also a very good reason why Dyson air purifier come at a pretty price and why they are pretty effective. Now obviously Dyson tests these air purifiers based on Polar but on top of that in-depth testing they also push further by doing the full grid test. Now full grid test measures the airflow, velocity and the direction then we have the HEPA filtration efficiency test to make sure that the filter that these air purifiers have has the capacity to capture or filter 99.95 percentage of the particle as small as PM 0.1 and gaseous pollutants which comes from furnitures cooking and they also do a acoustic test to make sure that these air purifiers stay cool and still protect as you sleep because you don't want that rumbling tumbling noise that's heard in the corner of the room which annoys for a lot of people which is pretty much annoying for a lot of people and you don't want that to bother your sleep because you need a good night's sleep for a better day to have the next day now that's the whole idea behind the Dyson Pure Cool Mies Polar Testing now the interesting idea behind this particular polar testing is that it's not only exclusive to the Pure Cool Me, but you can actually see this test executed with their mid tower Pure Cools and they also have that smaller Pure Cool that looks with that same like you know bladeless fan of sorts and you can literally put your hand in the middle of sorts so it has that same technology going on there as well. Now the real question is going to be which air purifier should you spend your money on if you're getting it from Dyson? Now personally, as I mentioned earlier, the Pure Cool Me is meant for personal use case scenario. Now in my case, 
All I need is a air purifier that's gonna sit in a corner that's gonna purify the room and also at the very same time give me cool air to keep myself cool even on a hot weather. Now that said, this definitely gets the job done and even when I sleep, it actually does an awesome job. And the best part is that with the added remote, I can even set timer to turn it off. I can even set the fan speed up to 10 and it goes as quiet as one. And you can actually have the info to see what's the percentage of usage on the filter a lot of things pretty much really they even have a wi-fi version of it so basically what you do is that you can actually connect to your wi-fi then it would utilize the wi-fi and it can actually read more stuff basically whatever you see in this mini display at this bottom with the remote you can actually see it from your smartphone with the dyson link app now Obviously, if you really want to cover a huge base, then obviously you're going to go for the bigger Dyson Pure Cool. Now, they definitely come at a pretty penny, but you can actually find them on sale, even on Dyson's website. So something that you really should keep an eye on because these are really considered as a long term investment. You really want to invest in your health and that is an investment that you can definitely count on. And when it's backed by technologies like Polar, especially in Dyson case, to make your livelihood better and also the air you breathe around better, it's definitely something you should consider spending your money on. Yes, it's definitely expensive, but it's expensive for a good reason. Number one, the R&D that these product goes through is no joke and they really take seriously about your health. Number two, it is a health investment so that means it's gonna last for pretty long and number three it's not just you but the people living around you matter as well so choose wisely choose which air purifier that you want to go with and i'm sure you won't regret it from dyson now before they end this video huge thanks to dyson for making this possible if it wasn't for dyson you wouldn't be able to experience the pure cool me and the polar testing as well so we have a lot more home appliances reviews coming up real soon. So stay tuned for that. But until then, this is Pretty Rad signing off. Take care and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.